Hi, this is a follow-up video to a video I posted uh, two weeks ago called uh, Response to the Last Drum Rack, which uh, was a response to a Dubspot video. And in that video I showed how I merged several sample files into one uh, WAV file before bringing it into a sampler device. And today I'd like to show you a trick that will save you quite a bit of time when using that technique. So let's have a look at Adobe Audition to see what the end result looks like. And if you have a closer look at the markers, you'll see that each uh, marker starts at an even number. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and uh, each marker lasts for one second. So the duration is one second, and in between each sample file, I have a one second uh, space. Now the main reason for all of this is to make it easier to define start and ending points within Ableton. Now as I explained in my previous video, the downside to doing all of this is that it takes a lot of time. And this is mainly because when you use the open append feature in Adobe Audition, it will glue all the samples uh, together. So let me quickly show you what that normally looks like. I'm gonna grab a few samples here. Okay, so selected eight samples. As you can see, they're now all put one after the other with hardly any space between them and they all have different lengths so different durations and their starting points are not uh, handy uh, when bringing this into Ableton and you have to spend quite a bit of time to get from this kind of layout to this layout where everything is set up properly and a lot easier to use in Ableton. Now if only there was a way to avoid this mess and end up with this straight away that would save a huge amount of time and guess what I'm about to show you how to do that so for this I'll move back to Ableton Live I'm gonna start by adding a sampler device to the MIDI track then look for the samples that I want to merge drop them on the sampler and if you now have a look at each individual sample you'll see that their length varies and what I want to do is make each sample the same length which is actually pretty easy to do if I switch this to seconds and I then select all the samples I can just put in a number here like say two seconds like this now every sample is two seconds as you can see now let's go ahead and select all the samples again if I now right click on them there's an option here crop sample but before I do that let me switch to the project folder in the in the library so you can see what uh, is going on Okay, I'll now go ahead and I have all the samples selected. I'm now going to select crop sample. And as you can see, Ableton now created eight new files for me, uh, stored them in my project folder. And each of these are a copy of the original, except that they're now only two seconds long. So let's now go ahead and open those in. Um, Adobe Audition using the open append feature to new I just need to find where they are samples processed crop there they are so these eight samples if I open that up now if you take a closer look 
at the start point of each sample or at the duration, you'll notice that instead of 2 seconds, every sample lasts 10 milliseconds longer. At first I thought it was a something that Adobe Audition did, but if I open up one of the samples that Ableton created and look at the length of the sample, you'll see that it lasts 2 seconds and 10 milliseconds. So it's not a Adobe Audition thing, it turns out it's an Ableton thing. So let's go back to Ableton and compensate for those 10 milliseconds. Let's start by undoing the crop sample that we did previously. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Z and I now have my samples back at their original length, as you can see. Okay, good riddance. Now select all the samples again and instead of making them 2 seconds I'm going to make them 1 990. So again all the samples have the same length now. Select all of them, right click, crop sample, bam, go back to Adobe Audition, file, open append, select the files, open them up and bam, finally. If you now take a look at the markers, you'll notice that all of them now last for 2 seconds. They all start at 0, 2, 4, 6 and so on. And if I now want to add that 1 second space between each sample, it's just a matter of adjusting the duration of each marker. And I'm done. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.